Hi everybody, I'm Tony Schaefer from What Drives Us, and this is one in a series of videos I'm making about hypermiling. In this video, I'm going to discuss why we hypermile, specifically how hypermiling saves you money personally and secures our border as a country. Now, I get it. You're thinking, well, these two things aren't connected. Well, I'm hoping that by the time I'm finished, you'll understand why I put the two together and how I draw those connections. All right, I'm gonna start with saving money because let's face it, this one's easy. We all like money. The problem that I see is when people go to the gas station, they complain about the price of gas. That's the only time they really pay attention to how much gasoline costs. Once they leave the gas station, they waste it like it's free. They forget the pain of the pump and they just go out and drive as though they're never going to have to buy gas again, as though the price of gas never goes up. But we all know it does. So here's what we need to do. We need to change gasoline into something that is more tangible, something that we better understand the concept of wasting. So let's talk about milk. You go to the grocery store, you buy a gallon of milk, you pour your kid a glass of milk and the kid drinks about half of the glass of milk and pours the rest down the drain. You're probably going to get upset about that. But why? Are you worried that we're running out of milk? Are all the cows suddenly going to disappear? Well, of course not. There's lots of cows. We're going to have more milk. Don't worry about it. The reason you're upset is that you know how much that milk costs. You know you had to go to the grocery store to buy it. And you know that that kid just wasted half a glass of milk. You are upset by that. It's the same thing with gasoline. If you only worried about food when you were purchasing it, then you would go home and throw half of it away. But you don't do that because you value the price of the food. It's the same thing with gasoline. It should be. You should know how much you're spending on gasoline and how much it's costing you to drive. That brings me to the next point. One of the things I tell people to do is when they're driving around, take a roll of quarters and a roll of dimes. Every time you slow down, chuck a dime out the window. Now, why would you do that? You do that because speeding back up takes more fuel. So you just spend about a dime's worth of gasoline to speed back up. If you ever come to a complete stop, chuck a quarter out the window. Well, accelerating from a dead stop costs more gas than simply slowing down. So if you had to throw a dime out the window every time you slowed down and a quarter out the window every time you came to a complete stop, you would probably drive differently. The question is how? Well, you would slow down less. You would anticipate more and you would judge stoplights so that you could catch them at green instead of speeding to a red. We'll get more to that in other videos. The idea here is to make sure you always know how much your gasoline costs and how much you're spending just driving around. Okay, now that you understand that driving differently will save you money, specifically money by not purchasing more gasoline, let's talk about where that gasoline comes from. Some of it comes from the United States and that's a really good thing, but a lot of it too much of it comes from other countries. No matter who you talk to, they'll all agree that it's a good idea to reduce the amount of foreign oil we import. In fact, presidents for years have talked about how we need to reduce the amount of oil that we import from foreign countries. We import a lot of oil from countries run by regimes who use the money we give them to fund the fighters who kill American servicemen and women. Did you think about that when you were pumping gas in your car? Did you think about that when you were over accelerating or driving your big ass American truck? Maybe not. Maybe you didn't think that the regimes themselves engage in atrocities that we would never condone in our own borders, but for some reason we give them money to keep doing it in their countries. Even though we don't like them, considering that we disagree with a lot of what we do and ignoring the fact that they fund the people who are willing to die in their quest to kill us, we continue to willingly send them the money we've worked extremely hard for. If we cannot convince our fellow Americans 
and people around the world that consuming gasoline purchased from OPEC countries funds the fighters who are dying to undermine us? What, how are we ever going to end this war that we're fighting? Really? You are going to keep buying gasoline from foreign countries? If we cannot convince Americans how to connect the dots between our gasoline addiction and our dying soldiers, then we are doomed as a country. As long as we continue to fund both sides of this war, it will never end. So let's set the record straight and let's expose the truth. Oil and gasoline, they're drugs, and we're addicted to those drugs. OPEC countries are drug dealers supplying the oil. They have exactly one commodity, and that's the oil we continue to purchase from them. Their entire livelihood relies on others, that would be us, continuously purchasing their oil. If we really cared about gaining independence, if we actually wanted to undermine those countries, those leaders who wish to cause us harm, then we would realize that our addictive habits, purchasing their oil, leads to our own destruction and the weakening of the United States on a global scale. Now, you think I'm making this up and this is some big conspiracy thing. Head over to energy.gov and read the article they have discussing energy and national security. Please, spend some time reading this article. It is a very good, thought out national security article that will really open your eyes. All right, so hopefully now, when you are behind one of us, a hypermiler, and you're in your big, shiny, super sport vehicle, you want to go really fast and you want to race to that red light, and unfortunately, we're in front of you, driving at a reasonable speed, anticipating traffic, cruising to that red light that you want to race to, hopefully you'll appreciate the fact that we're helping save you money by keeping you from coming to a complete stop. Chuck out a quarter or even slowing down. Chuck out a dime. Not to mention the fact that we're consuming less gasoline and helping you consume less gasoline, which is directly helping secure our borders and undermining these regimes that wish to cause us harm. So the next time you're frustrated at us, the next time you're behind me, think less about how upset you are and about how much money you're saving and how you're helping the country. I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you want to see more videos like this, head over to the What Drives Us channel. That's where you'll find our weekly podcasts, car reviews, and more videos about hypermiling. Our podcasts, by the way, are recorded live every Wednesday night. If you want to be notified when we record a new podcast or upload new content, be sure to subscribe. Thanks again, and remember, I'm not asking you to drive less. Just drive better.